Hello, this is Courtney Starheart here with a little cleansing energy and a whiff of something new for you. Let's go. This is Finding the Force L1, Four Steps into the Vortex, class number three. I'm here as Courtney Starheart Hale, also known as Urban Shaman, Shamin, S-H-A-M-I-N. I'm a woman. You can find this material at findingtheforce.com. Important. For those of you who have started, please remember to read along about the sacred wheel. By now, it's important to go to findingtheforce.com and download it so that you can have the foundations for moving forward in this class. Please direct anyone who's interested to this page to also download the guide for free. Four Steps into the Force, Personal Power from Peace. You can get started with this free ebook you just click on that button there, enter your email address so that we can stay in touch with updates and quick vids. Okay? <sighs> Take a deep breath and get into your happy place. I want to say welcome back. And we're going to start here with a beautiful quote from the Bhagavad Gita. No effort in this world is lost or wasted. A fragment of sacred duty saves you from great fear. This course is all about refortification. A place or structure that is refortified, meaning strengthened or invigorated mentally, physically, or spiritually. Remembering the divine feminine. We're putting the body of the goddess back together inside each and every one of us, quilting the divine feminine unity consciousness together with our daily lives. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Here is your reminder, breath work review. Find a time of day that works best for you, 15 minutes in the morning and 15 at night. Learn how to quickly let go of things in the outer world by taking deep breaths. Inhale light, and exhale junk. Inhale down to your hips and exhale slowly through the nose. Imagine light shining down on the top of you, showering you with infinite potential and peace, releasing every thought letting it pass by like the clouds. The sun is always there. Do that inhale, exhale 10 times before you continue on to the journal and exercises. Reminders, journaling review. Use your journal to write down what is happening to you each week. Make a permanent copy of your drawing so you can jot down concepts and ideas like a spiritual, psychological, cultural, calendric file cabinet. This journal is meant to help you draw larger conclusions and integrate, so don't rob yourself of your own fruits and harvest. If you're watching along with this, you'll be able to see on the left-hand side these beautiful diagrams. I just love visuals. You can see that in one picture, you have the cloud of probabilities, which is an electron cloud. And on the left-hand side, you have a diagram of the medicine wheel. Lots of little categories in there that are filled in with different ideas and concepts. Review. How have you been using your wheel? If you're live with us, you can type in the chat box, or if you're at home working, then go ahead and write down in your journal if you haven't yet. Put this on pause and take a moment to do a little bit of journaling about your experience in the past week with the South, because now we're moving into the West. The Sacred Wheel Review is here. You can see the east is fire. That's where we began in our intro class. We moved to the south with earth. And now we're moving into the west with water. It's such an exciting time because we're almost reaching completion on the basic building block of spirituality and personal power. Review of the south. It's earth, 
summer, caring, adolescence, passion, blood, sex, and reproduction, abundance, fertility, work, and wealth. You're welcome to take a moment to reintegrate the energy of fire in the east, earth in the south, and we're moving on to west. South and summer are the times of most light when we have the longest stay at summer solstice. It's a time when the crops have been planted and we're caring for them. So that's when we have our dances, we get together, and we enjoy a little bit of sunlight after our work. Before we move into the West, let's ground ourselves out by evoking the feeling of the South, which is Earth, and the feeling of the East, which is fire. Now we're balancing the fire with water in the West. West. If you're following along visually, you can see an amazing picture of a jaguar in all of her power. This is one of my favorite power allies for this direction because she represents the ability to ferret things out in the darkness, such as the rodents and the pests in the jungle. And so she keeps a watchful eye on anything that is unsatvic or unhealthy. West is water, moon, ending of day, harvest, dream time, and the unconscious. It's the jaguar. West is the direction opposite of east, which is rising sun. And then west is the setting sun. I associate it with water because it's across the wheel from fire. And we also associate it with the moon because it's across the wheel from the sun. This is a way of seeing things which builds balance and harmony, pairing complementary energies in balance. The West also represents maturity and the time in our lives when we begin to give back to the world around us because the direction of fall is harvest, and that is the West. Then it is also the direction of feelings and emotions or those things which are considered feminine or yin as the opposite side of the wheel in the east is considered yang or masculine. West. The west is the time of year when we have the equinox, equal day and night, light and dark. We're heading into the time of darkness, of winter, and as such, it also relates to Persephone's journey into the underworld and connects to the unconscious. The direction of west serves to evaluate how unconscious feelings and experiences may have limited us or formed our lives. We can also look at our achievements to date as adults and or define what type of changes we can make to better our lives, especially emotionally. Our 4M apps order you. The M apps are also games that allow you to have fun and relax while debugging. The Mondal apps debug and order your mind computer to allow for high-speed transfers from higher self. So let's try it right now. Get someplace comfortable and make sure that you're either laying down or you're sitting up straight in your seat. We're going to begin with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. We're going to do that three to 10 times as we get prepared to go to the next slide. Make sure to keep on breathing. Fill up your entire chest cavity above and below with light and oxygen. In the next slide, follow the lines to the center with the eyes, with a pen or with a pointer. I'm going to play our drum journey for you as you get started into deep relaxation. Follow the lines on the labyrinth and allow everything to just melt away. I'm going to play the drum for you as you find your center.
again. Breathe deeply. Inhale. And exhale. I want to tell you a story about an amazing man that I had the opportunity to interview and meet. His name was the Dr. Masaru Emoto, and he worked with human consciousness and water. It was 1994 when the idea to freeze water and observe it with microscope came upon me, he said. With this method, I was convinced that I should be able to see something like snow crystals. After two months of trial and error, this idea bore fruit. The beautifully shining hexagonal crystals were created from the invisible world. My staff at the laboratory and I were absorbed in it and began to do many researches. At first, we strenuously observed crystals of tap water, river water, and lake water. From the tap water, we would not get any beautiful crystals. We could not get any beautiful ones from rivers and lakes near big cities either. However, from the water from rivers and lakes where water is kept pristine from development, we could observe beautiful crystals with each one having its own uniqueness. Here, in this wonderful slide, you can see what a water crystal looks like to the Mozart Symphony, to Imagine from John Lennon, the word love, the word peace, and thank you. Sadly, the other ones, which are labeled with something such as I will kill you or Fujiwara before prayer, have amorphous blobby figures and they have no structural integrity. The good news is that the Fujiwara water after prayer is gorgeous like a snowflake. And so our intentions have a profound effect on our very water structure. And we are three quarters water, right? So your homework assignment for the West, part one, is to look at how your feelings affect the water crystals in your body. Knowing that we're three quarters water, then we want to look at the structure of those crystals. Draw a picture of a water molecule and happy alignment and take the time to write something on your water container with the conscious intention of making beauty and love. How do you think that it affects yourself and others as your emotions change? So I love this example of this gallon container. It says, I love me, life is beautiful. And it has a big juicy heart. Homework assignment for the West, part two. Writing in your journal, list the qualities that we have listed for the West, as well as your personal thoughts and feelings from the questions below. Again, these are super tool questions, which is part of my coaching program, as well as L2 and L3 of Finding the Force. We're not going to just drop you and leave you. We want you to be very successful. So we're going to keep on teaching at different levels and in different ways. So here is a taste of what we'll be doing in the future. You can use these questions to dive deep. One, what state of mind was or am I in primarily as an adult? Two, what is or was the state of my physical body as an adult? And what was the status of my spirituality as a grown-up, a leader, or a parent? These questions are reflecting on mind, body, and spirit, looking at the direction of West. So here I wanna share with you how some of this developed. Um, working in community over the years, I began to look at symbolism as a way to express things that are more powerful than words. And so we have two X's in this slide to the left-hand side. We're explaining essentially where the logo for finding the forest and for our foundation came from. There are two X's and an X is an old a glyph for human being. And so when you put two X's together, holding hands, right? Human beings holding hands like this, then you get a third thing in the center, which is the eye of God. So that is finding the force, that sweet spot in there where you and I make something bigger together. It's within a circle, which is a sacred, safe place, an unending cycle. 
So this is the powerful design that we came up with to symbolize what we want for our relationship with the world. I want to say thank you again so much. I'm really excited that you've joined and I can't wait to see you again and maybe even get to know you. This is four steps into the vortex, L1 of finding the force. This is class number three as presented by Courtney Hale, the urban shaman. You can get in touch with us at findingtheforce.com or you can contact me directly for appointments, for coaching or for specific questions at urbanshamin.com at gmail.com. Thanks a lot and bye for now.